Okay guys, before we start the video, just quickly, First Man is so much more than just a YouTube channel. We've got digital products, we've got physical products. The digital products include courses, books, ebooks, etc. And the physical products is everything from supplements to clothing to grooming products to the paperback physical copy of our book. So the two links will be below. Go and check them out, guys. And now back to the video you came here to watch. Okay, guys, I want to revisit a, a kind of old video, but it's, it's going to be such a better version of that video. I remember when I said to you guys, you have to get to like around 95 kg. I, I didn't take in, I didn't take like height into, a, into the equation and whatnot. But the idea behind the video was just to get bigger just to become bigger, just to have a much larger frame. Now, following on from that, this video is going to be about two separate things, okay? You, lo you look at male life. A lot of men might have income protection insurance. You know, they'll have life insurance. They'll have um, locks on their door, all these things. But they don't turn themselves into a weapon. Like, do you know how much better your life is when you don't really have any fear of being attacked? You don't really have any fear of whoever you get in a fight with, chances are you'll probably do all right. You'll probably win. But you're not going to get hurt. You're not going to die. Do you know what I mean? Worst case scenario, the other guy lands some really good shots, but you're still on your feet. You're just a giant guy. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to get absolutely destroyed. Um, somebody breaks into your house. Well, the, the thing they should be worried about most is you. You walk home at night, late, nobody even fucks with you. Like, there's massive benefits to just becoming bigger, okay? And I'm, I'm not, like, height obviously helps because you, you can be heavier and it makes you look more intimidating, but it's more so just putting some thickness on your frame, just looking bigger in general. And it's like in fighting, okay? They always say, oh, the guy's got a, a six-inch height advantage. It, I swear to God, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. We saw that with Volkanovski the other day. What matters is weight. You look at a giraffe, it's taller than an elephant. I guarantee an elephant's going to fuck it up. And it's... Weight is massive. And it doesn't get taken into consideration, okay? And this is part one of this video. If you can just make yourself bigger, scarier, whatever, your life just immediately becomes easier. And... Like... A big bag of problems that most people worry about, you will no longer have to worry about. That's amazing. Like I said, you can walk home on your own at night. Nobody's going to fuck with you. You are in a bar, and people always say, oh, but, you know, the bigger you are, the more people want to make a name for themselves. It's not true. I'm telling you, when I was some skinny little kid, everyone started on me. Now I'm six foot two, 95 kilograms. Nobody even thinks about it. People bump into you, turn around, and, oh, sorry, mate, sorry, and walk off. It's nice. I've got a very relaxed, casual lifestyle. You're so heavy in terms of weight that you can pick any woman up. Like, I mean, actually physically pick them up with ease. It's, uh, you know, not going to get some embarrassing moment or whatever. Where you go to pick her up and drop her. Like, you got that benefit. Um, like I said, people always have income protection insurance. People always have locks on their, like a padlock on their bike and stuff like that. Everyone's trying to be secure in every sense of the world but they're not being secure within themselves. They're not giving themselves that ultimate level of protection. I, I find it weird. Like I'm a, I'm a guy that lifts very heavy weights often. You know, I can put 60 kilograms in each hand, lie back on the bench and push them up individually for reps. The average guy weighs 83 kilograms. I can bench 150 kg. I can deadlift 250 kg. You know, I can military press like 90 kg above my head. It's a major advantage if you can get the average guy, the average guy's body weight, and just shift it around like it's a toy. Okay, that's a major advantage. Now on top of that, I box once a week with my coach. Okay, so it's... You, you get to... Obviously, you're not an elite level. You're never going to be like a Canelo, but you get to a very high level where so it would be justifiable that somebody would think you're a professional. And when you combine all of that, so you combine the fact that I'm a 95 kg man, okay, six foot two, doesn't really matter too much, but it's there as well. Six foot two, 95 kg, 
I box weekly and I'm very good at it and I hit very hard and I'm strong as fuck. Okay, am I the best in the world at any of those things? No, but collectively, I'm an absolute fucking nightmare. Now, do I walk around trying to fuck people up? No, that's the last thing I'd ever want to do. But nobody tries to do it to me. You know, people are reluctant. Even if it's a group of like 10 guys, they're still going to be like, this is going to hurt. One or two of us are going to take a whack here. This is, this is a tough guy to bring down. So most of the time, they just don't bother. People don't give you shit. People treat you with respect. People, any shop you walk into, they give you respect. You know, people might see you in traffic and be like ready to beep the horn and they're just like, actually, no, I'll stay quiet on this one. That guy looks a little bit menacing. Your life is just better. Nobody tries to rob me. You know, if I was some old deaf woman, somebody might try and be like, hey, let's break into that house. You know, if I had no locks on my door, if I had no level of security, no alarms, nothing, I left every door open, but I was sat in the house, that house is secure as fuck. Like, short of coming in with a gun, like, there's not really a lot you can do. Okay, that's, that's trouble. That's a massive problem. More guys need to go for that. More guys need to understand that it feels nice. It feels nice to have very few problems. Anywhere you go, you're protected. You've got to train yourself. You've got to make yourself into a weapon. You've got to have that level of protection. Everyone's got life insurance, income protection, just in case. But what about having the ability to take a whack? What about training your neck muscles so that if you do take a punch, you know, you could probably stay up? What about going through multiple bulks so that you become bigger and heavier so 99.9% of men on planet Earth wouldn't be able to fuck with you? Because that's how I feel. I feel like, yeah, there's some boxers, some heavyweight boxers out there, some, you know, top level MMA guys, some, you know, naturally beast of a guy who's on the street and whatever. You just got a normal job, but he just turns out to be a killer. Yeah, and there's a few crazy people, but 99.9% .9 of the world's population, I could fuck up quickly. And that's nice, because I'm the type of person who wouldn't want to do it. So I can just get on with my life, I don't have to worry, I can walk home late at night. I'm not stupid enough to walk around with like some headphones in, because there are dangerous areas, but like, I probably could. Could probably get away with it, and nobody's ever really going to ever do anything. I, I've only... I've had an attempted mugging once in my life and I was way smaller than this, but I was still, I still look pretty big. I was probably like 90 kg back then. It was, but I was kind of chubby because it was my first bulk, second bulk. And this guy just kind of just walked up behind me and my girlfriend at the time and just stood behind us. We stopped to a man, looked at him and he just kind of stared. He was on drugs, you could tell. And he's just staring at us like this, staring at me. Kind of, uh, he was like hazing out. His eyes were like this, and I was just like, I just stood there looking at him, just thinking, "Well, go on then. What are you gonna do? Like, what's your, what's your plan?" And he obviously sized me up and weighed it up and thought, "Nah, fuck that. That's. I don't think I can win this one. This is a problem." I just stopped myself getting mugged. I stopped myself losing my watch because the guy probably thought, "Yeah, this guy could probably do me." Now at ninety-five kg, six foot two, the ability to box. I, I don't really have a lot of fear. Anywhere I go, like if we go into a pub and it's getting leery, I'm just like, eh, I'll be able to deal with this. Like it's, it's never bothered me. That guy's is a weapon. That, that makes you feel so secure. Now you shouldn't feel invincible, but it makes you feel so secure. I think every guy needs to chase that feeling. Every guy needs to put himself in that position because it just makes life easier. It's a great form of life setup and framing. Like, Nobody wants to feel scared. You just never know, right? There could be a gang of like 10, 16 year olds. Oh, they're so scary. Yeah, they are if you're a skinny little man, you know, walking home with your tie on from your nice little office job. Of course you're going to be scared of them. There's going to be a sense in your mind that's like they could fuck me up. They could do something. They're shouting things at me. There's not a lot I could do back. They're roughly my size. Whereas if I was walking down the street, I know for a fact they just wouldn't say fuck all. And if they did, I'd laugh it off because I'd be like, realistically, what's going to happen? You know, as long as there's no weapons, like realistically, what is going to happen? But it just never does happen. Like it hasn't happened for a long time. My life is peaceful because of that. Like they say, it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener at war. That's, I want that for you guys. I want you guys to just never feel scared of any scenario because you know you can defend yourself. 
the average guy weighs 83 kg you weigh more than that but you're low body fat percentage so it's all usable muscle like you're you're bigger than the average person you're safe that's how it feels now there's a, there's another side of this and it comes uh on the part of attracting women as well and it's called body size dimorphism so i think it's sexual body size dimorphism and it's the difference if you can hear sirens i don't know why they're still going such a small area i don't know whether they're doing circles um yeah it's basically the body size between or the difference in body size between males and females now it goes across all animals um including humans and the difference between men and women in humans is actually greater than most animals there's only a few that's bigger that's larger than us okay in terms of the gap between how big a male is compared to the female how strong the male is compared to the female you know you think about the black widow spider she has sex with the male and then eats him like but in humans the males are so much bigger than the females there's only a handful of animals that can match that or have a bigger gap i think we're one of the largest differences now that needs to be taken into consideration okay height you can't control so forget about it and that's why women like height that's like the theory's already been proven but they also like size and weight and i'll tell you what like if you went up to a woman and said, oh, I'm 95 kilograms, she's not going to care. But what I'm saying is you can visually see it. Like if I'm stood here and there's a beautiful woman on my right and I can see the outline of her body in a tight dress, I don't even need to look and I know she's beautiful. She's attractive. Look at that hip to waist ratio. It's there. Look at that cleavage. I can see it from here. She's an attractive woman. You know, you, like you might turn and it's all makeup and lip fillers and whatever, but you know there's something going on there. With women looking at men, they can just gauge immediately. That guy's big. That guy's large. He looks as though he could fuck me hard. Do you know what I mean? You can just see that sort of thing. He looks as though he could protect me. And I think, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the golden ratio, the 3.14 Da Vinci thing, where like, if your eyes are exactly 3.14 apart and then your nose like here, here, all this stuff, I think that's true for sexual body size dimorphism, where if a man is <clears throat> a certain size larger than that female, then he's deemed attractive. Because I've noticed it. I don't think I'm particularly a, a good looking guy. I've always said that to you a lot. I just think I'm big and masculine, you know, beard, shaved head, muscles, whatever. And I get a lot of attention from women and I, I don't really see why based on the high school pretty boy thing but as i've gotten older i'm like oh there's just there's just certain traits that they look for but that sexual body size dimorphism is definitely one of them you know if you're a five foot four woman who weighs 60 kilograms and you look at a man like me who's 95 kilograms six foot two you're gonna think okay well that's that's a bonus to my life that's a plus he's gonna be able to do hundreds if not thousands of things that i can't do myself he's going to be able to protect us he's going to be able to pick me up he's going to be able to fuck me properly he's going to be able to look after us protect the family you know build things lift things whatever it's just it, like it just immediately taps in you can just see it and this is why i think every guy needs to go through multiple bulks needs to lift heavy weights needs to get not, not like as big as possible, don't go crazy, but you need to get larger. You need to get to a point where you're a low body fat percentage, but you're still heavier than the 83 kilogram average man weight limit. If you can go above that, then you're going to be seen as somebody who's like kind of dangerous, a protector, you know, that's a big guy. Okay, that guy's got something about him. And your life just improves. Like I said, people have locks on their door. They padlock their bike. They lock their car and they, you know... They want to park it in a garage and you get cheaper insurance because it's got better protection. The best protection you can have is being a big, scary cunt. Like, it's, you know, you could, you, a reputation is fantastic. I'm not saying for you guys to get that. But if you're somebody like a mafia boss or one of the craze, like, then yeah, people aren't going to fuck with you. But the next best thing is to be enormous, just to be a big guy, just a big, scary guy with muscle, you know, who hits the gym, who lifts heavy weights, who is strong as fuck who can bench the average guy's body weight 40, 50 times. 
who does some level of martial arts and is actually good at it, your life's just fucking easy from that point onwards. From that point onwards. And the reason I remember I said to you guys back in the day, the 95 kg thing, it was because I remember when I hit 15 stone, which is a UK thing, which is 15 stone on the scales. Um, I, I started getting loads of female attention for the first time since I was like 18. And I was probably like 26, 27 at that time, maybe 27. <clears throat> and I remember thinking, okay, there's a certain limit. Now, was it 95 kg? No. It was, like, I was fat back then and whatever, but it was just a size thing. It was probably just like a certain level of muscle and masculinity that got added to your face. And you're, you're now that exact ratio bigger than what a woman is. So then they find you attractive. Do you see what I'm trying to say there, guys? Like, if, like tall women don't really date short guys because they're trying to find that same thing. They might be with a guy who's six foot six and then she gets that same effect. Where it's like he's X bigger than me. You know, it might be 0 0.3 times bigger or something like that. I don't know what it would be. Uh, but there's a golden ratio that they're looking for. I can almost guarantee you. Almost guarantee you. Because I've seen it in day-to-day -day life. I've seen it with my own body. When I've bulked, when I've cut, when I've got to certain different sizes and whatever, the attention just skyrockets up and you look like the same person. But your body is just slightly different. It's just such a weapon for you guys, and it's so simple. Anybody can do it. You know, I, I almost think it's a, I almost think it's a silver bullet for the height problem as well, that you just become bigger, thicker, more masculine, you know, stronger in general. And then, like, let's say you're a five foot six guy. You get thick as hell. You get a lot bigger. Well, if there's a five foot woman, a five foot one woman, a five foot two woman, you fit that size thing. You're within that ratio. She's going to find you attractive. You see what I mean? Now that's somewhat bro science, but I've experienced this in my own life. And it's undoubtable, and I don't know why every guy doesn't do it, that when you get bigger, your life gets better. I have, I have no idea why guys aren't just getting bigger, just adding muscle to the frame, just becoming thicker. Tom Hardy is quite a short guy. He gets a ton of female attention, and he's got fucked up teeth. Um, only looks good like 10% of the time. The rest of the time, he's just got this big, unkept beard, you know, hair just messy and everywhere. He doesn't really give a fuck. He gets a ton of attention from women. He's just, he's just hit that certain sexual body size dimorphism, as well as obviously being famous and stuff like that. But there's a lot of famous guys and they don't get half the attention he does. Okay, so that's the two benefits, guys. I think every guy in a self-improvement journey, it should almost be your immediate focus money and size just add some size to your frame get your money up like it's such a simple process anybody can do the first one as in adding muscle adding size just just get bigger Stop worrying about the height things you can't change it just get thicker get bigger add some size to your frame you know become that subconscious silhouette where it's like damn that guy's got some size to him it'll just it'll get you noticed it'll make your life easier and life will become less dangerous i promise you